Amen. We, we know a few people that have been suffering with this virus and different things going on, but we still know that God is still in control, even throughout all that. So we still want to give God the praise because you never know it's going to be your last time. Amen. But if it is your last time, listen, will you be ready when Jesus calls your name? That's the question. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Amen. And I believe that you are. Sing this last song and get on out your way.
reminds us 
us that no matter what we're going through, we can depend on God. We can depend on God as we deal with this unexpected interruption of life, life as we once knew it. An intruder has come among us, and we have named him Coronavirus. Amen? I say that wrong. Okay. Sounds good to me? <laughs> we must keep in mind that God has been our dwelling place through many generations. Going back to the story of David, the story of David lets us know that no matter how good of a shepherd David was, and no matter how many things came upon David's sheep and he conquered those situations, David realized in the 23rd Psalm that he also needed a shepherd. A lot of us must understand that no matter how many of us have been good shepherds, good shepherds to our families, Good shepherds in churches, good shepherds in our communities. There comes a time that we must acknowledge that when we don't know what to do, and that when the enemy is coming after us, when sickness is all around us, when we need somewhere to lay our heads, the 23rd Psalm of David says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. It's in times like these that we need to be reminded of just who our shepherd is. Uh -huh. It's times like these when we need to be reminded that our jobs were not looking out for us. It's times like these that we need to be reminded that all the multivitamins, all the probiotics, and all the vitamin C you took might not be able to help you now. Amen. But our shepherd, the good shepherd, he maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He leaves us beside the still waters. A lot of us just run all the time. We run, 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 run. We work, 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 work. We very seldom get the time, even take time with our families. But the good shepherd, the Lord knows how to make us lay down in green pastures. He knows how to slow us down. He knows how to lead us beside the still waters. Now, you know, sometimes we just run and we go, but our shepherd knows, and sometimes he knows the things he needs to do. After making us lay down in green pastures, you know, sometimes you're laying there, but you still don't have peace. Uh -huh. But our shepherd knows how to not only lead us to those pastures and let us lay down beside the still waters, but he knows how to give us peace in the midst of a storm. Yeah. We talk about a storm one day, somebody told me about, you know, I might have been a little boat. And the disciples, and they were out on the water. And it seems like Jesus was standing on the water. And then, and, uh, and then he had bid Peter to come. Amen? Yeah. And as long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he did not sink. Amen. We got to keep our eyes on Jesus yeah. and we won't sink. There was another time they was on the ship and the master Jesus was down in the bottom of the ship. And the storms began to rage. And the waters began to shake. And the thunder began to roll. And um, they didn't understand how Jesus could sleep through all of that. Well, I'm here to tell you.
Baby.